tell us about your noni experience. Okay, my noni story is about 15 years ago, I, out of the blue, I just got really sick and couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. I ended up in the hospital and I had diverticulitis. And I spent two weeks in the hospital and I ended up with a puncture in my colon. So once I got better, the my doctor told me that maybe I needed to wait about six months until I was really healthy and I would have to have a portion of my colon removed in surgery and it would be best to do it when I was completely healthy. So I got out of the hospital and started trying to you know, take better care of myself and I had a friend that lived on the Big Island, this elderly Hawaiian man who said he had always taken noni and thought noni would cure something like that. So he made me up a batch of noni, just um, fermented noni juice and I started taking it and I took it almost every day. I took a little bit of noni almost every day for the six months and when I went back to the doctor to go in to get ready to do the surgery they took another uh, CAT scan in my stomach and they couldn't find the hole. It had completely healed. And the only thing that I can think of, and even the doctor was amazed when he put the two x-rays next to each other, he was amazed that so it was completely healed up and completely gone and I haven't, since then I had no problem with it and haven't had to have any kind of hospitalization or anything for that and I still continue to take the noni every day and um, the noni to go is good because if I go on vacation I'm able to take that with me and use that so it's my, my go-to stuff for my vacation. That's, that's great, that's great. That's amazing. That's pretty. That's, that's pretty amazing. I diverticulitis, and we had a really good family friend that had that, and it's given them. I think it's stemmed in them a lot more mm -hmm. problems down there. Yeah. That's a painful thing, though, huh? It was really painful, and because I was um, younger and female and um, not overweight at the time, uh, they couldn't figure out what it was. So first they thought I was pregnant, then they thought there was something wrong with my fallopian tubes. I mean, they thought all this stuff. And yeah. I ended up in the hospital because they couldn't figure out what it was. You know, it ended up being Noni. That's great. But it, it was Noni.